In this study, I want to revisit the parable of the fig tree, in reference to the timing of the rapture. Jesus spoke of the fig tree, in some settings, as referencing the nation of Israel. And for this reason, Bible teachers have used this same mindset to apply it to the rebirth of the nation of Israel, on May 14, 1948. Let's revisit this, and see if we will come to a different conclusion. Scripture says, Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. The traditional teaching is that the fig tree is Israel, and her putting forth her leaves represents her rebirth in May 1948, and the generation that sees her rebirth, will also see the coming of Jesus to execute the rapture. Our teachers have taught us, that a generation is seventy years, or if by strength, eighty years, according to Psalm 90 verse 10. Well, this teaching has been tested, and let's see what the results are. But for full transparency, this channel believes, and teaches, a post-tribulation rapture. Therefore, if we add 70 years to 1948, we will end up with the year 2018 for the second coming of Jesus. And when we subtract out seven years for the tribulation period, we end up at 2011 for a pre-tribulation rapture. And obviously, none of this happened. Therefore, if we add 80 years to 1948, we will end up with the year 2028 for the second coming of Jesus. And when we subtract out seven years for the tribulation period, we end up at 2021 for a pre-tribulation rapture. And obviously, since we are now in May 2022, we are almost one year past the year, a pre-tribulation rapture should have taken place. So, it is my opinion, that this teaching has been tested, and exhausted, and have been found wanting. With that, I would like to introduce a better interpretation of this parable of the fig tree. When Luke spoke of this same fig tree parable, he wrote these things. And he spake to them a parable, Behold the fig tree, and all the trees. When they now shoot forth ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. One of the problems I see with our teachers, including myself, is that we draw a definite conclusion on a topic, when we don't have all of the pieces, to come to that conclusion, which leads us into error. If we had considered what Luke has added to his writing about the fig tree, by adding the words, and all the trees, then we could not have come to the conclusion, that it is speaking of Israel becoming a nation, when it is actually speaking of, the actual seasons of the year. Jesus is saying, When you see the fig tree and all the trees in the nation budding, you know that summer is near, and will arrive in approximately three months. And just like that, when you see a change in the sun, moon, and stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, and the seas and waves roaring, and men's hearts failing them for what is coming upon the earth. Then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption is the next thing that will happen. Before we move on, I want you to take note of this. In Matthew and Mark's Gospel, it says, It, is near. But here in Luke's Gospel, he tells you what, it is. And that being, the kingdom of God is near. Now, with this understanding, we know this is not a pre-tribulation rapture passage, as the kingdom of God, coming to the earth, is not a part of the pre-tribulation rapture theory. Therefore, this can only be speaking of his second coming, for with it, comes the kingdom of God, of which a post-tribulation rapture is a part of. See my study titled, The Rapture Challenge, to learn more about the rapture being joined to his second coming. Moving on, 
I want to consider the words, this generation. The way we have defined it, is not in context of what is being said. We have defined it as, the general length of time one lives. However, let's see how these same words are being used in another place. Scripture says, Therefore also said the wisdom of God, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they shall slay and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets, which was shed from the foundation of the world, may be required of this generation. From the blood of Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, which perished between the altar and the temple, verily I say unto you, it shall be required of this generation. Here, this generation has respect to, an era in time. A season in time. An appointment in time. These people whom Jesus was speaking to, and hearing his words, were living in an era of time, or a generation when their blood would be required of them, for the way they treated the prophets that God sent to them, of which Jesus was also one. And forty years after that, their blood was required of them when Rome slaughtered the people, destroyed their temple, and scattered the people into all the world, until they were gathered back into the land and declared a country again, in 1948. Likewise, just as assuredly that summer follows spring, so will the second coming of Jesus, which includes the rapture, follow after, the latter signs of a change in the sun, moon and stars. The distress of nations. The sea and waves roaring and men's hearts failing them for what is coming upon the earth. It is these, who sees these things. It is those, who live during this season. It is those, who are appointed to live in this time. And it is this, generation, that will also see the return of the Lord Jesus. Therefore, I am prepared to say, according to the passage of time, and the testing of this scripture, as well as the addition of an unused scripture, concerning this parable of the fig tree. I am prepared to say, that Jesus was not prophesying about the rebirth of the nation of Israel, but simply making an observation concerning the four seasons, and applying it, to the latter day event of his second coming, and the generation that would be alive to see it. So, I think it's time to put this old understanding to rest, and to embrace this better understanding, which involves no math. That's a joke, but the truth, for you have to engage in no mathematical gymnastics, to arrive at this conclusion. According to Scripture, the last and greatest sign we should be looking for, to notify us of the approaching kingdom of God, in tow with the second coming of Jesus, is, the heavenly signs occurring on the same day. A same day of darkness, where the sun is turned into darkness, and the moon will not give her light, and the stars will withhold their light. A same day where nations will be warring against one another. A same day where the seas and waves are roaring. And a same day so horrible, that men's hearts will fail them, for the horrific same day things that are coming upon the earth. It is this generation who sees these last days heavenly signs, that will also see the second coming of Jesus. If you are not saved, and wish to learn more about end time things in reference to Jesus. Tell God, I know I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. Tell God, I believe Jesus died for my sins. Tell God, I believe He was dead and buried. And tell God, I believe He was raised on the third day. If your confession is from the heart, then you are become a child of God, and an inheritor of His riches, which includes His power, and information, that will get you through the last days. Thanks for watching. The parable of the fig tree, modern day teaching, needs to be re examined, for as it stands today, our traditional teaching has proven to be in error. And sometimes you have to let things play out to reveal it. If this study has helped you, please share it with your family and friends, and subscribe and comment, and give it a thumbs up. And he spake to them a parable Behold the fig tree, and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away, 
till all be fulfilled. Amen.